Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about these energies as we are heading into September. Energy, energy, energy. It's weepy. It is emotional. It's deep. This is going to enable you to get deeper than you ever thought before because it's deep. Now, this is a part of the deep retrograde of Uranus, the Uranus retrograde, which is a transit out of a, a sense that people have that they don't care. And yet when people do start to care, many times they'll get their feelings hurt very easily. And that's where misunderstandings can come into play. So this is a little bit different than a Mercury retrograde. This is a retrograde that is going to help you um, really, really, you know, it sounds like almost like a cliche to say, be your authentic self, but get back to really being a feeling sensitive person. Now, how do you stop being empathic within that? Some people wear their ability to be an empath as a sense of pride, like it's their badge of honor. And it does encompass many of your gifts. I talk about that in my book on relationships, twin flame relationships. But beyond that, it can be really raw for people, especially if you're in a low vibe or you're stuck in a karmic situation or you really just don't know what's happening. That is the kicker. I know what's happening and it's all about ascension. So you could very easily say ascension is the new normal because it's time for people to ascend out of medieval things, out of really old paradigm stuff, habits, relationships, lifestyle choices, addictions. That may be not news to some people, but the how of it is really going to throw people off. And yet I'm going to remind you of something that is extremely important. One word. Growth. If you're not growing and you're staying stuck or you feel stuck and you feel like your life is flatlined somehow, it's time. It's time for not a kick because you didn't get come here to get dropped on your butt. It's time to jumpstart you. And that is what I know how to do. So what are some of the things that are happening within this? Hearing voices, seeing faces, Disrupted sleep, pain around your rib cage, pain around your solar plexus, really heavy feelings, and that's not COVID. Those are things that have to do with the heaviness of the past. It's though someone has anchored you and almost like your ship has taken anchor and there's no wind in your sails and there's nothing that's going to help you pick up steam. I want to explain a few things because people have gone through cycles for several years. I'm going to share a few things that I've learned in several of the years that I've been doing this. Number one, this is on. What that means is that there is no going back. There's no going back to old ways or the old paradigm because you might think, oh, well, good, I'll get rid of certain things. You're getting rid of so many things it isn't even funny. And Yet, that is a part of what makes you feel better, how you feel better, being closer to who you really belong with, being closer to the higher vibe you that you really are. So while you may have not realized you've actually descended, picked up your stuff, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel, there's residue. There's going to be residue at every single cycle. If this is new to you, you may feel that it's all about you met a person, you have to learn all about psychology, and you might have to feel like you're a martyr on the altar of love, or that somehow being feminine means you're making all these sacrifices. No. The more you focus on you and the clearer you get and the cleaner you get and the more you purify and the more that you focus on the full integration of your brand new twin flame body because it's new, the better off you be and 
that is what drags the person who you belong with with you. Sometimes you're dragging each other. Sometimes you're dragging each other behind the pickup truck. Sometimes it can make you feel like you're losing a few screws in your head. And I'm here to tell you a phrase that I started saying years ago and other people picked up on it, but it was mine. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. And I know the reasons why, and I know the reasons what's pressing on you as to why it can make you feel crazy. Now, what about all of this? Everything is interrelated to who you are and the reason you're here. You aren't always calling the shots or as some of the guidance could say, you are not the one in control, meaning you can only control or manage what you can from a physical level. You're not going to be able to do certain things unless you learn. And unless you learn how to use your brand new divine connections, which do travel deep inside your body. So what are you hearing? First of all, is it friendly or is it a foe? Is it friend or foe? Is it enemy or is it a friend? Is it you? Is it your other half? Is it both of you? How do you sort that out? You do it by clearing and you do it by doing the clearing that I teach. Because I'm all about empowerment. I have helped many people get a handle on their ascension and their detoxification. Because if people do drugs, if people have um, had abuse, you're going to hear things. It kind of goes with the territory because it's registered in there. The same type of thing happens to people. Let me ask some of you. When you quit working at an office, did you hear phantom phone calls? Did you hear office phones ringing and you sort of had these auditory hallucinations and you could tell yourself, well, I'm not crazy. I'm not at the office, but you get so accustomed to being in that atmosphere that it's registered in there somewhere. Now take that time, thousands of lifetimes. What have you heard? What have you seen? August is a month of explosions, explosions that affect your eyes what you've seen, what you've heard, what you've taken in. Again, your brand new twin flame body doesn't want to carry around that garbage from the past because whether it's visual or auditory pollution, it, it's not love and it's not something that you need to hang on to, nor should it stay attached to you. But as we know, some people like to loop in Social media, see things again and again and again and again. And the media knows this. The media can make it a good thing or they can make it a bad thing. What is your other half paying attention to or watching? You know, do they watch, they watch like triple X rated stuff? Do they watch um, war stuff? Have they been in there? You don't, may or may not know, but I help you get rid of it. Because the sooner I get you focused on love, the better you feel. What about seeing faces? How many faces have you seen throughout all of your lifetimes, just in this lifetime? You've seen them in the visuals. You've seen them in uh, media. You have seen in your dreams. And then your eyes are the windows to your soul. Do you know how many things that you have both each taken in, viewed, seen, participated in throughout your lifetimes? You don't have to know or give anyone a number because it would probably be in the millions. But you, there is a reason for this. So if you are having that happen, you're leaving the old paradigm and you're going to want to say good riddance to it. Because a lot of things will wear out their welcome. They won't be welcome within you, inside you, residing in you. It's not a part of a beautiful mind to carry all these casts of characters in there, even though people have coped that way. That's coping. That's not ridding. That's not getting rid of it for good and forever. That's not putting in what, you, what belongs to you. 
that's not clearing so you can unify. You clear so you can unify and be together without all of that garbage. Even if you're in a separation at this current time, your new twin flame body cannot collect garbage. It doesn't want to be sick. It doesn't want to hold illnesses. It doesn't want to hold ancestral things. It doesn't want to hold mean people. It wants you to breathe and feel normal. So while we have a lot of things pulling up the rear here, it's going to be time for real, real change where we have to stop being afraid of each other. And we really have to stop being afraid of love. A lot of people feel a mix of stuff when they go through their ascension and they say, well, what does this have to do with love? It doesn't. But it needs to get out. And that's what I'm here to help you do. Do you want to feel lifted up? So let me describe when I first started um, feeling the light body. Okay, there was sort of this uh, series of activations throughout my life, even back to my childhood at age 11, which I didn't know what it was. It bowled me over. I just about fell on the floor because the energy was so palpable. And it hit me right at a point when I was starting puberty. Now, that was one of the very first ones that was very, very distinct. But later on, and this is not too long ago, this is several years ago, there were things that began to happen, what you would call otherworldly things. And yet they were a part of me going to places, timelines really, to just sort of bring my essence here, to replug in, to draw it in. Now what started to happen is as I did this, I was purging big time. My stomach vomiting, my stomach constipated, my spine, my hips, my eyes, several major organs, and getting rid of not only ancestral things, things I had no context for, things like preparing food and just deep weeping, grieving somehow, feeling a connection to a food or a flower that I had no idea where it came from, but I felt it because it was so deep. And you too may be feeling these things that are unexplainable to the people around you, which is why I like to have classes so that people have support. They have someone who's like them. They have someone who can understand that while you care for a soulmate, you really want to be rid of them and be where you belong to be. Be where you need to be. Be in the life that you came here for. To understand the depth of emotion that other people might say like, hey, grow a thick skin. It's not about growing a thick skin. It's about your brand new etheric skin. It's about having brand new subtle body that adheres to you, holds you together, keeps you accountable, keeps you well, and keeps you committed in love. Love without commitment, love that just sort of waves in, waves out, that's not really love. Love wants to be with you. Love wants to be honest with you. Love doesn't want you to have to guess, and that's what the new template of relationship is about. It is about having a worthy relationship, a relationship that's worthy of who the human angelic that you are. Without how you look or how you appear or what your education is or any of that. So becoming a better person is actually a part of this, but it's actually being a new person with a new template, a new blueprint, whatever you call it, it is not the original blueprint. And I know this because it has been in different spots. So if you look at a diagram and you say, well, there's this, 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 this chakra, like they're all lined up right down the center. That's not how it is. You have other connections that you share with each other. 
which I do map out in my classes if you're interested to learn it. What about full enjoyment of life? Well, some people think that their initial activation or awakening is as good as it gets because that's as good as it's gotten for people. But I'm here to tell you, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. And now you can actually access it much higher, higher and deeper. So what happened with me was, as I was guided to open up some of the etheric body connections, an amazing thing happened. It just went And I started to get up into a level that I compared it to the jet stream. Now what's the jet stream? The jet stream is our term here in Chicago for a certain stream of energy that comes from the north and dips down, hits the city, and it's pretty strong. In fact, it's so strong that when the planes try to fly through it, after the season changes in the winter, you can feel G-forces. It's, it's similar to probably the East Australian current, even though I've never been in there. It's a current that carries you somewhere. So I was able to get up into this, and it felt like that lift up. It's a part of that lifting energy that people notice and they'll talk about it as though it's an airlift or as though it's, you know, um, something that lifts you up. Like um, it's not really the rapture because the rapture involves passion and kissing. It's not that. It's about you as an individual starting to get to a vibration that really is going to become your new normal without drugs, without getting high, without having to beat the crap out of someone so that you have some kind of uh, endorphin high from fighting, without drama that is mistaken for passion. You make someone else's life more miserable and somehow that makes someone else feel better. It doesn't. It's going to be felt by the karmic two by four, the karmic ping back. You do something, it comes right back. And it's not going to hit the intended target. That also is a part of this new. And people will take that as a tax. So, you know, be careful what you wish for. Because if you're wishing for ill things for people, it comes right back, boing, like a boomerang. How do you get up into that East Australian current type of energy that, like, lifts you and starts gliding you along? like it did with me, where I felt very untouchable by the things of earth. I would actually love to get everybody there. I would love everyone to get out of their trouble spots, whether it's their neighborhood, whether it's their finances, whether it's their health. That's my mission. That is my love mission. The love mission of myself and my twin are to help people to feel better, do better, be in love, and get out of here. Get out of the old paradigm, which is hurt, harmed, can't be healed fully, needs to be sealed up and gotten rid of. Some people I know would like to say, you know what, all I want is some acknowledgement. Sure, and that comes to you when you're in that higher vibe. In fact, it never leaves you alone. It keeps doing this and touching you and friendly, but loverly, like a lover does, because that's who it is. It is actually the part of you, of your other half, that is connected. So if you clear out all the garbage, and if you're accustomed to you know, getting on the phone and looking for comfort in other places, looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm not here to say you can't find love in, you know, the uh, online dating scene. Sometimes people do, but more often than not, they find games. And that's a part of the hearing voices. You know, there's a lot being said out there. There's a lot, and people are going to pick up on it. Because while you might not have antennas, you have parts of your sensory organs that have been connected to parts of the collective. 
And it happens to people no matter what they watch or where they go or what they view. I have in my series of books ways for you to clear. But more importantly, I'm having a class coming up on surrender. Mastering your surrender and learning to learning what it is and what it is not. Learning about how to continue doing a proper surrender because proper surrendering enables quite a lot. It enables you to get into those quantum modes of real leaping change. And that's something a lot of people say, like, you know, like me, I might say like, well, why didn't I meet when I was in my 20s? Why did I have to meet that soulmate? Why didn't I meet, you know, when everything was, you know, a certain way? The energies weren't conducive to it. The body template had not been perfected so that a mass number of people could um, arrange it so that they could begin to integrate. My classes were not ready. I didn't have any of this ready. In fact, I knew nothing about it. There were things that I knew inherently from inside me. And there was a spiritual side that I realized was pretty deep. And yet I did not have a full context for it. There are times that you do not date and you shouldn't. And so if nobody else is saying it out there, because I see that question a lot, what do I do if my twin flame is married and, you know, or doing relationships somehow, what do I do? Do I go date do I, or do I just roll over and play dead and take anything? No, the answer is neither one. You don't date. You don't make a decision, make a commitment, commit to this. That's what you're here for. Number two, if you're wishy-washy about it, that's not going to help either. If you're just rolling over and playing dead and like you're, you know, a piece of seaweed in the sea that's just flopping around, that's not going to help either. Be decisive and you do you. You do the things you can do for yourself to begin clearing and your other half follow suit. Are you going to lend out your energy to another relationship? We got to stop these toxic triangles somehow, some way, starting right now. You have to start with one step. So let me give you an analogy, okay? Let's take a bicycle. But the bicycle has several speeds and it has gears and some of the gears are this big and some of the gears are this big. What happens when the bicyclist starts out? They use the smaller gear so they can gain some momentum. Then they shift gears so that they're going and they're maintaining. That's part of what we're doing here. We are not just leaving this to chance. You have to start from somewhere. And starting from somewhere does not involve someone reading for you, nor does it involve someone who's telling you somebody's a narcissist because a lot of us, that just doesn't apply anymore. That's like ancient history. It's existed throughout lifetimes. No, what the new course of action has to be is getting your template open, which is inside you, and getting yourself into the mode that you yourself can begin to feel some of this, feel confident, and there's a wonderful thing that happens. Even though you want this, it starts to feel like it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you whether it happens or it doesn't happen because that is when you reach a balance point. So I'm here to teach people this, and I've already been teaching people this. Who's ready for what's next? Ascension is the new normal, and you're not crazy. So check the links below, check my website, reach out, and I hope to see you there. Thank you. Bye.